Now today I worked kind of fast and uh, just getting this thing cleaned up and getting it ready for the foundry. I've been working on the base. I decided to put a uh, uh, scrub type of uh, log uh, laying out there broken uh, in the middle. Um, like I said, so it's like it's fallen into a dry creek bed where he's uh, making his last stand, so to speak. Um, there wasn't much to show, just a lot of detailing like, like uh, last time. And uh, I did make the log. I got a, an 11 year old outside <laughs> um, cutting lawn right now. And I'll tell you right, right now, uh, he does it so fast. Uh, I mean, I'm like a snail when it comes to cutting the lawn. Because I'm not a 12 years old or 11 years old anymore. Anyway, that's getting ready to go to the foundry on Monday. I was going to take it this week, but I got busy on uh, Todd Connor's uh, sculpture of his dad. And uh, I still got quite a bit of things I want to look at on this thing. Uh, still have a lot of little holes. I might remake some of this fringe. I don't know. I'm just going to think that through first. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy the way it's turning out. And uh, I'm done. Okay, come on in. And, uh, good God, you're done already, and it took you about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it takes me an hour just to do that one backyard. Not this side yard, not that yard, not that yard, or that yard. Just the one. Yeah. Because I, I walk like a snail. Anyway, I'm making a video for YouTube. Go ahead and sit down. Anyway, um... So I got uh, it filled in. I still got a little filling in to do underneath the uh, the bow scabbard, and uh, like I said, I might redo some of the fringe. So we'll see what happens, and I'll pick this up probably tomorrow. That's it for today. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs> this is the young man that cut my lawn. What's your name? My name is Brody. Brody. Yep. And he's 11 years old, and he's going to camp tomorrow up in uh, Augusta, Montana. Pretty country up there, right at the foothills of the, uh, the what is it, Swan Mountains? Or what is that I, range of mountains up there? I don't know. It's a straight range that runs uh, north and south, and it goes all the way up into Canada. It used to be one of the major uh, migration routes of the Native Americans. They'd uh, follow that mountain range all the way up to Canada for the summer and then down south in the winter time. All right, say good night. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.